Good morning, traders. Today is 23rd of May, 11.49 a.m. So very early, very early in the week. The purpose of this video is I want to demystify shorting and I want to go through all the finance charges, all the dividend nonsense and the margin, all these stuff on how to short using Tiger Broker. Because even at this stage, I have a lot of people who are still not shopping yet. And only at this stage, I still have a lot of people who just come up and tell me, Zor, I don't know how to shop. Zor, I'm not comfortable with shopping. So <laughs> uh, we, uh, I will not say you are late to the shopping party, that, that there's still a lot of opportunity to shop, but you, you definitely have missed out of a huge... <laughs> a huge opportunity to make a lot of money but not to worry i got your back okay i will go through how to um, understand what shopping margin what is the finance charges and how much are you going to pay and you will realize that it's not even worth calculating the numbers because it's very little it's very little okay but i'll still go through nonetheless and also very uh, earlier in this year as early as end of jan somewhere around february i, I actually posted quite a few videos on I think there was one specific video on how to start shorting, but unfortunately, that video itself, that there are like 50 views. <laughs> There's literally no views on that video at all. So, uh, but in my defense, it was a private video. Like it was meant for Patreon folks, but but even the Patreon folks are not viewing it. O only only now, only now suddenly everyone wants to short. Everyone is late to the party. Okay, guys, uh, as a trader, you cannot do that. Uh. You cannot do this. Uh. You cannot see other people start making money then you want to come okay you want to come and join okay it does by the time you are doing that it's already too late okay it is just that right now you're not late yet you're not late yet you're, you're probably miss a, miss a good chunk of profit making opportunity but that there are still some meat left on the bone lah. okay so without further delay let's go through what shopping is and i'm gonna go through on tiger but uh, it will probably be same as on every other brokerage as, as well. Uh. But on Tiger, right, it is a margin account. So if you are on a CFD account, right, uh, it might be different. So if you are on a CMC or Oanda or whatever, uh, the calculation might a little bit different. So you try to um, adjust to whatever numbers that your brokerage give you, okay? If you are on Tiger or Moomoo, then... Congratulations, you can follow exactly whatever you are seeing here. Lah. Okay, so first, let's open up Tiger. And you can see that right here, I have Amazon. Okay, I have opened up Amazon. And on the left-hand panel, you are going to see a bunch of information here. Uh, at the top right-hand corner here, right? At the top right-hand corner here, you can see a few information. I'm going to hover my mouse over some of them, okay? You can see that this one support long. Is support short okay? So this um, uh, tiger support shops for Amazon, so we can actually shop Amazon. But there will be some stocks that Amazon doesn't really support short. It could be some ulu ulu counter that nobody heard of, so uh, they don't really want to take the risk by uh, providing short selling. But what you will realize is a lot of Singapore counters are not available for shopping. Also, that is why during this bear market period, right? We are actually staying away from Singapore market mainly because even though we want to shop something, right? Uh, Tiger doesn't allow you to shop most of Singapore counters. Lah. So uh, we, we, we will shop the US counters. Lah, okay. Uh, let me just show you PropNex. PropNex is a Singapore counter. Yes, I truly want to shop this counter. But the thing is, if, you, if I hover the same thing, okay, look at the top right hand corner, okay? Support long not shortable okay not shortable so sadly we cannot shop this counter okay so uh that's how you look at something can be long or something can be shorted so if you want to short something it's very simple very simple you just press sell and short at the bottom just press sell and short type in the order, market order, limit order, type in your quantity you want to short, and then you just press sell. That is shorting ready, okay? 
So that's considered shorting already. So make, 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 make sure you don't have any long holdings. Huh? For example, if you already have Amazon long and then you try to short Amazon, right? What, what happened is you are just cashing out your Amazon long. So I hope you can un 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 understand that. <coughs> okay. So first step, we have determined whether a stock can be shorted or long. So you can actually see um, right here, right here, there are short support, that's short initial margin, and your short interest, whatever, all these numbers here, okay? So I'm gonna capture this screen, and after I capture this screen, right, I'm going to talk about those numbers. Okay, so you have a few numbers here. Short initial margin, short maintenance margin, and short interest and shortable shares. There are 10 million shortable Amazon share out in Tiger. So you can short that amount. But the, the number that you want to look at is short interest 3.26%. So this is the amount that you need to pay for borrowing Amazon shares to shop. And this 3.26% is actually per annum, per annum. You need to pay 3.26% of whatever shares that you borrow per year, okay? Per year. Ah. So for example, let's use my real trade. Let's use my actual real trade to calculate this, okay? I actually shorted four shares at, 3200. So that will give me a total of um 12800. Okay, 12800. Is it right? Yeah, correct. Uh $12,800. Okay, so I have borrowed $12,800 worth of Amazon share that I have shorted. So now how much money do I how much interest do I need to pay? by holding this share. So I need to pay 3.26% of 120800 per year. Okay, the keyword is per year. Uh. This is a per annum. Uh. So uh, let's calculate to see how much. Wait, uh, give me a while. Uh, 12800. 12800 multiplied by 0 0.0326. I will get $417.28 per year. Okay, this is per year. You need to pay this. If you decide to hold this shop for the entire year, this is the amount that you need to pay. So now uh, you also need to... So uh, since I'm not holding the entire year, I'm only holding for a period, right? Uh, you can calculate how many um how much is your short interest for that for that period that you have held uh? so this 4.1728 a right uh, i'm not really sure uh, i i don't think um you you can immediately divide this by 365 to sort of calculate your per day payment but the thing is that uh, i don't think tiger broker or if you borrow a share right they count things like weekends, they don't count weekends because weekend market is closed, right? So you probably don't need to pay. And they also don't count public holidays. So, so you, you don't really need, need, need to pay money for those weekends also. But, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go and find out what's the actual number just for simplicity's sake, right? I'm just going to divide this whole thing by 365, okay? In order to get the one-day payment, okay? So, uh. Let's divide 417.28 by 365. So I need to pay this amount per day to hold this share. So how much is that? Meaning uh, when you get this dollar value, right? Meaning you when, when you hold through weekend, when you hold through holiday, you are paying also like, just for simplicity's sake. Like, okay. So the number I get is $1.14. You need to pay $1.14 to Tiger Broker for shorting four shares of Amazon that is worth $12,800, okay? So is that a lot? Is that a lot? I don't think so. I don't think so. If they want $1 per day, let them take it. Let them take it, okay? So now 
Let's take a look at our Amazon trade. How long did we hold? How long did we hold before we TP? Okay, so uh, Amazon here. Amazon, okay. So 3200, 3200 is here. And then uh, then I TP at, on I TP on the day where the earning release and the chart gap down. Okay, so that's the day that I TP. So I'm going to count how many days, okay? I'm just going to use this ruler and I'm going to count how many days. So you can see there's 23 days there. There's only 23 days there. Okay? So there's 16 candles, meaning there are 16 trading days, but there are actually 23 days. So including all the weekend. Lah. So I'm just going to use the 23 days as, a, as, as my calculation, lah, okay? Since we divided by 365. Uh, if you just count the trading days, right, then you'll probably use the 16 days number. Lah. Okay, so 23 days. So now, $1.14 multiplied by 23. How much is that? $26. Okay, $26. I paid $26 to hold $12,800 worth of Amazon over 23 days. But let's look at how much profit did I get. So let's say I'm just shopping four shares huh, for simplicity's sake. Uh, on the actual trade, right? Actually, on the actual trade, I kind of um, added a bit more here and there. So, but for simplicity's sake, just we work on a we work on a four share basis. Lah, okay. So to make it simple, let's say I shorted at 3200 and then I TP at 2600. Okay. 3200, I TP at 36, uh, 2600. Okay. So now uh, my entry price is four time 3200. So I, I, I got that there already, but my exit price is four times. 2600. So how much is that? 4 times 2600. That is $10,400. $10,400. Okay. So the profit is, of course, uh, 12,800 minus um, 12,800 minus 10,400, and then how much am I going to get? Um, sorry, uh, my math is very bad right now. 2,400, okay? I got $2,400 as profit, okay? And you only need to pay them $26 just to hold through that period. Pay, pay them, <laughs> just give them, give them the money. You, you don't want to give up $26. $2,400 because you are like, oh my God, I need to pay extra fees. Like it's only $26. Let, let them have it. Let them have it. Please don't do, do some calculation. Okay, guys, don't, don't, don't fear. Don't fear because you don't, you don't know. And then you don't, you also don't want to spend that effort to go and research and calculate a bit. Because the thing is, if, if, if you spend like, 10 minutes to Google what is short interest, how to calculate, right? You can get it in 15 minutes. You don't even need to wait for me to do this kind of video. Okay, okay, guys. So now, next, next. Of course, uh, you are not just paying $26. La. You also need to pay the brokerage fee, la, platform fee, la, this and that. La. So maybe your total entire fee might come up to about $30, $30, $40. So I actually looked at my total Amazon trade for that, that particular trade. I have a total of eight shares and end up it was lesser than $50. And, and I, I got close to like $4,000, $4,000 for trade. And it was like it's that 50. It's not even, it's like 0.1%. So just give that, give it, give it to them, give it to them. Okay. So now next, uh, another numbers that you need to be um, also wary is because you are on a margin account. You are shopping on a margin account. Okay. So there is this two thing called your short initial margin and short maintenance, maintenance margin. So short initial margin is <clears throat> how much money you need in your Tiger Broker account in order to short this. So the good thing about margin is that you don't really need to have 12,800 to short. You can actually have a lot lesser and how much a lot lesser. You only need to put up 
35% of your contract. So that is your initial margin, okay? So uh, in order to short this, you put up 35%. So it is um, initial capital, initial upfront capital that you need in your Tiger. In order to short four shares, right, is zero, uh, 35% multiplied by 12800. Okay, so this is the amount that you need in your account. So let me just quickly calculate 0 0.35 multiplied by 12800. So you'll get 4000 and 4480. So you only need $4,480 in your account, in your Tiger account, in order to short this. So the moment you short this, right, this amount is taken out from your account. Uh, uh, it is being used as your initial margin. Uh. But on top of that, you also need to so-called um, have a maintenance margin because if the <clears throat> if Amazon went up, you are short Amazon and Amazon went up, right? You are going to lose money, correct? You are going to lose money. So uh, in order to ensure that you don't lose beyond what you have in your account, right? You also need to put up a maintenance margin. You also need to have that maintenance margin. So that maintenance margin is still sitting in your account, but it will fluctuate based on whether you are winning or you are losing in your Amazon trade. But you need that minimum maintenance margin to have breathing room so that let's say, if, you're, if you are losing money in your Amazon trade, you still have the cash to pay up to Tiger Broker. Okay, so it is to prevent people from like shopping way more than what they are able to afford. Lah. So the maintenance margin is 30%. So um, this is the amount of free money, free money, okay? Free floating money that you need to have in your account. So the maintenance margin is 30%. So it will be 30% times 12800 equal, let me calculate, $3,840, $3,840. Okay, so when you short $12,800 worth of Amazon, you need to upfront pay up $4,480. But on top of that, you need to have a floating $300. $3,840 so that whatever loss or win, uh, whatever loss that you make from your trade, right, it will be deducted from your $3,840. So if your free floating margin go below $3,840, right, uh, Tiger might immediately um, liquidate your, uh, your, your, your position uh, so, 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 so that like sort of to protect themselves in case you, you don't lose in case you lose more than what you can afford. Lah. Okay, so to be safe, right? If you are, if let's say you are, if you are in this position, you want to short this amount, uh, you probably need at least um, close to $7,000 plus to be safe in order to short this, but it is still a lot lesser than $12,800. Okay, so these are what all this number mean. Go and work it out, go and see, go and like be, be independent, be independent. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. Be independent, don't wait around. If you wait around, market is not going to wait for you. Okay, but then, then, then all, all the opportunities are gone already. So uh, another thing that I want to bring up also is dividend. A lot of people are like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to pay dividend. Don't want to short already. Don't want to short already. Like, like same thing, go and calculate. You will realize that it's not a lot. They want dividend, give, give them, give them. You're going to get a lot more, a lot more back from the stock going now. Okay, so now once again, let's use. Um, okay, Amazon doesn't give dividend, <laughs> so let's use Whirlpool. Okay, let's use Whirlpool because Whirlpool recently gave out dividend. Where's Whirlpool? Huh? Okay, so now once again, let's use my own personal trade. Okay, Whirlpool, we entered <clears throat> somewhere here 190. Okay, we entered 190. So uh, let's let's calculate the entire thing, okay? So let's go to Whirlpool.
So you can see that the short interest is 3.26, exactly the same as Amazon. So, so uh, I, I'm not going to calculate all the interest ready, okay? But you realize that the initial margin is slightly higher. The initial margin is slightly higher. So you, you probably need to put up a little bit more money compared to Amazon, lah, okay? So that's basically about it. Uh, I'm not going to go through all the cal calculation again. But uh, let's take a look at the actual world pool trade. So uh, we entered at 1900. So I entered about um, 10 shares. I uh, Sorry, uh, not 10 shares, 100 shares. Um, or close to 100 shares because I, I got options, okay? I got options, so I, I need to multiply my contract by hundreds. Lah. So, so uh, somewhere around there, somewhere around there, okay? So, but let, 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 let's say you are you are shorting the shares, lah, okay? Let's say you are shorting the shares. So um, let's give it um, good numbers that we can work with. Let's go with 10 shares, lah, okay? So you shorted. 10 shares at 1900 okay 190 you shorted 10 shares at 190 so how much is your contract going to cost 1 time 190 10 shares okay so your contract is going to cost you 3 sorry uh 1900 so what is your interest per year 1900 multiplied by 0 0.0326, it will give you um, 3.26% multiplied by 1900 equal $61.94 per year. Per year, okay? Per year, ah. Per year. So in order to calculate per day, you divide by three six five which will give you which will give you 0 0.17 17 cents per day 17 cents per day they want 17 cents per day give it to them give it to them take it let me shot this counter okay <laughs> it's it's you now 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 you see what i mean but it's not worth calculating just just let them let them have it let them have it okay so uh, we are still holding this. So uh, how, how long have we held so far? We shorted on 5th of May. So currently it's 20th of May. So we held for 15 days already, okay? So we held for 15 days already. How much, how much short interest have we given? Uh, 15 times 0 0.17. So the actual number might be a little bit different based on how they calculate, but it shouldn't differ, it shouldn't differ too far off, okay? So uh, this one multiplied by 15, we have paid a total of $2.50, $2.50, okay? Like as a trader, uh, as a trader who are trying to make a lot of money, right? You, 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 don't, you don't stingy over this kind, of, this kind of number, okay? So $2.50, they want, give it to them, okay? So now, next, we actually have dividend given out on 19th of May. So the dividend here is, 1.75. So uh, there was a dividend of $1.75 per share. Okay. So now let's get back here. Dividend $1.75 per share. So if you have long position on Whirlpool, you are getting this amount of dividend. But if you have short position, you have to pay up this amount of dividend to Tiger Broker. So Tiger Broker is going to deduct this number, this amount from your account, lah, from your Tiger Broker account. Lah, okay. So since I have 10 shares, right, and they are giving out $1.75 dividend per share, how much money is being deducted? So uh, is 10 multiplied by 1.75. Okay, sorry, the units are all wrong. That will give you $17.50. $17.50. Okay. So, um, okay. This one a little bit substantial, a little bit substantial based on uh, $1,900. But it's okay because this one is like once uh, 
you, you're gonna pay this one time and uh, I, the next dividend is I don't know where it will probably by the time the next dividend come out right we we'll probably be taken profit ready lah. so they are giving out dividend every um, November December like every three four three four months like that okay so it will probably be another three four months before the next dividend payout comes so so uh, we probably don't need to pay the dividend again so that's the one time thing but now Let's take a look at some other aspect. Currently, the price is at 173, okay? 173. So I'm just going to take it as 174, la. One, not because it's 173.8. Okay, so I'm going to take it as 174. So price have already gone down about $16, okay? $16 from your entry, okay? Price have gone down $16 from your entry. So <clears throat> how much? So you have 10 share. Price have already gone down sixteen dollar. So you, if you have ten shares, right, you are already hundred and sixty dollar in profit. Okay, so you have paid so far two dollar and fifty cent for holding. So uh, maybe your profit currently right now is like um fifteen dollar hundred and fifty seven point five dollar. That's your profit, and then you pay out seventeen. 50, okay, you pay out $17.50, so it will be $140 profit. Okay, so you, you still have a lot, you still have a lot of profit there. So it's okay, just, just give it to them. Just give it to them because the share is got you are getting a lot more profit from the shop compared to what you are actually paying, what you are actually giving out. Unless, of course, you anyhow short a counter that you don't know and then you end up in a losing trade and then you end up paying all this additional stuff. That, that is, of course, a different story. But, of course, uh, we plan our shop properly and we ensure that our shots are uh, able to hit profit, this and that. So, all these are so-called the cost of shopping. It's like, think about it. When you start trading, right, before you even um, learn about stock, you want, to, you want to start and trade stock, you probably have that kind of fear also. Hey, uh, is stock safe or not? Buy shares safe or not? And then if, if eventually, I'm sure you started also, you start trading also because you, you, learn, you learn the risk, you, you understand more what you are paying for. And then you will also probably like, ah, yeah, wow, the, the poem commission $25, I don't want to pay la, this and that. La. But end up, end up, you'll probably end up still paying anyway because if you want money, you still have to pay that commission because it's a service that's being provided by the brokers. La. Okay, so don't. So my point is that everyone fears what they have not tried before, but the fact that you are already trading right now, it means that sometime in the past, you overcome your fear of trading, you overcome the fear, the stigma of all the stocks is people bankrupt over stocks, la, this and that. La. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to say. And learn, learn, learn the learn, learn the quotes, understand. Don't fear it because you don't understand. <clears throat> and uh the thing is you can kind of think of this as you are paying additional staff compared to let's say if you go for a long position okay if you go for a long position you are not going to pay all this so if you long whirlpool you don't need to pay two dollar and fifty cent for holding the shot you don't have to pay 17.5 in fact you will get 17.5 for um holding the shares but you're going to lose 140 dollar if you have a long position so the fact is that the market situation right now the chances of you losing thousands and thousands of dollars in long position is very very high it's extremely high the chances of you getting stuck in some counter that you try to bottom pay you're gonna lose a few hundred a few thousand for the rich folk you might lose 10 20 thousand hundred thousand left and right because you are trying to long and and for what because you don't want to pay two dollar for the you don't want to pay two dollar for the finance fee for the shopping fee or because you don't want to pay that uh, seventeen dollar for your for, for for the for the dividend and and, and because of all this you you you, you just want to blindly law so so please don't do all this thing okay just 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 sometimes don't be stingy don't be stingy just take take the take the fee you are gonna get a lot more in return okay guys so hopefully this clear up some um fears that people have about shorting and then not really sure what to shoot short how to short shorting is very simple just press the sell button if you want to exit your position buy it back it's literally the the opposite lah. okay so it is just that you need to 
go and take a look at your short interest. But they, they, there are some counters with short interest that are very, very high and you don't want to be involved in those counters. So do calculate the short interest, okay? Um, like, like I mean, not, not calculate, but look, look, look at the percentage. Just look at the percentage. If the percentage is like, 20%, 30%, right? Then maybe, maybe you do not want to go for it. Lah, okay. If it, most of the shots are somewhere around five, three to five percent, those are fine. But it's, if it goes beyond 10%, right? Then you may want to stay away from that, that particular counter. Lah, okay. So uh, that's a rough guide for you. Beyond 10% short interest, perhaps you don't want to have anything to do with that, that counter. But usually those counter with beyond 10%, they are extremely volatile counter, they are penny stock, they are very risky stock. So you, you don't want to be in those stock anyway. You don't want to be shopping those stock anyway. Okay, uh, have a good day guys. We are still shocked.